Hi everyone. We went out again today. Unfortunately, I didn't have my phone with me. So, but I want to show you what we found. This is another mushroom. It's very, very easy to find this time of the year. And that is the giant puffball. Look at the size of this puffball. When I tell you this thing weighs a ton, here we go. I mean, it, you can't even see how big it is. Here's my bottle of oil right next to it, just to show you how big this puffball is. It is humongous. Super, super big. But I'm going to show you how I'm going to put together something for you. And I will also write the ingredients in the description. So I hope you like this recipe. And go out, guys. These are very easy to find. Um, these mushrooms have no gills. And I'll show you. You see this little knob right there? That's the only place that it is attached to. In the soil so when you grab these do not just pull it out just give it a little twist and it comes loose and then you could bring home your beautiful puffball and you can make whatever you want with this I have other videos up showing you what I did last time with the puffball this time we're gonna stuff some peppers but we're gonna cook the mushrooms first very much like a tofu so if you guys like tofu uh, you're gonna love the puffball. So if you get a chance and you spot these humongous, when I say humongous, this mushroom is about a foot. It's about a foot by a foot. It is huge, very big. We found some smaller ones. I will be doing the smaller one. Here's a couple of smaller ones that we found. So I'll be able to um, use some of these smaller ones for my recipe and maybe uh, leave this big one for my sister. I know she makes gnocchis with it. Maybe one day she's going to show us how she makes her gnocchi with the puffball. But there you go. Get a chance. Go out and find some puffballs. So get ready. Uh, so this recipe will be a non-talking recipe. But again, uh, there's going to be uh, what I'm using on the side of the video. Plus, I will also put it in the description for you. Okay, so this one's got a huge hole in it because when I found it, it had a little one growing in the inside. So I just, and it had gone bad, the little one. So I just took, um, I just took a knife and I carved out the one that was, that was growing inside the, uh, the mushroom. Now, um, when you pick puffballs, you want to make sure, I'm just going to, here we go. When you pick, pick puffballs, you want to make sure that you, um, that they're white inside, that they're not yellow. If they're yellow, that means they're going bad. If you see a little spot of yellow, then I say just carve that little piece out. But if you see the inside is all yellow, you really want to discard it because it's not going to be good. And because this one year was open, I got some dirt in there. That's why I washed the inside. But otherwise, you don't have to wash the inside. You just want to scrub the outside of your mushroom. Now, if you don't have, here, for instance, I'll show you this one. I'll just put this aside for now. This one is still intact. So basically, you're just going to wash it really good on the outside. And because it has a nice, like a drum type skin. And then just cut off the butt end where it was attached and little buggy um, and just cut off the end where it was attached and then you can slice it dice it do whatever you want with the mushroom now you're gonna say what are you gonna what kind of recipe is this if I don't have um, if I don't have a puff ball well you don't have to use a puff ball if you want you can use any mushroom you have at home but because these are here for me I picked them I'm gonna consume uh, some of these mushrooms, some I'm going to give away. But if you don't have any puffballs, use any mushroom that you have at home. So I am just going to cut this up. And we're going to create something delicious for dinner. There we go. I want to cut them. And if you see, if you're picking wild mushrooms and you see something like a little black spot, just remove it. Now, I'm going to make these pieces really small because they will be going into 
a pepper and you don't want the pieces big. I might have way too much mushroom here. But we're just going to chop them up in little pieces. And if you've never had a puff ball, it's basically like a sponge on the inside. So when you cook it, it's going to lose a lot of water. You should have seen me and Erica trying to pull this out of the woods. So I'm just going to take a big knife and just chop these up. And these will absorb. If you're cooking the puff mushrooms, you're going to see these will absorb some oil. So you're going to feel like you don't have enough oil in your pan, but in reality you have plenty of oil. So don't let it fool you. There we go. When you find a puffball, it's so exciting because it's just like an alien. When you see that puffball in the in the fields or in the woods, you're like, "Whoa!" Like, where did that come from? Here we go. I'm going to get a pan. There we go. We have another little piece here. You can actually just break it with your hands. Now, I don't mind the skin, but if you want, you could also have that skin removed. Do a few more slices. Uh, yes, can you throw them in the sink, Eric? I gotta wash those. Thank you. There we go. Okay, we're going to add some salt, some olive oil, yeah, put this aside for now and see if I want to add more. I'm going to use a hot pepper. I'm going to use a whole, this is, um, so I'm going to use a whole pepper, but it really is up to you how hot you want yours. We don't mind the heat. My daughter does complain, but somehow she still manages to eat it. There you go. Remember, you don't have to put all that hot pepper if you don't want to. Maybe a little extra mushroom. We'll just add a little extra mushroom. Because we're going to cook this down. There's hardly going to be anything left when you cook it down. Here we go. Since I have it, might as well use it, right? Okay, so. So that's it. From now on, I won't be talking. So I will show you how I make this dish and you can just follow the ingredients that will be listed right on the side. The ingredients will be listed right on the side and I will put also some in the description. So here you go. Hope you enjoy this dish.
For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends.